Hello guys and welcome back to comment and it's time for another tutorial and today we're going to create that you can have an inventory in within your game and if everything went all right you just saw a preview of how it's going to look like um, as you can see I didn't do a lot about the uh, graphics because I don't think that's uh, important for you you can create your own images um, also last week I posted another video and that's also very important for the series we are going to use that um, that will be around halfway this tutorial series. So before we're going to start creating the actual inventory system itself, we first need a database. So right click create a C sharp script and call it database. And just open it. And we are going to use a few different things. For example, we are going to use lists. So we are going to put here using systems system.collection.generic so we can use a list and also we are using sprite and that is something from the UE uh, group so we are also going to say using unity engine unity engine dot UE so here we're going to create a new class for all the different items so we're first going to say that it is going to it can be changed and then a public class item and the three different variables we are going to use, you can add more later on, is going to be a public int ID, a public string name, and a public sprite image. So now we only have to delete those lines and add instead public list item and got items. And that's going to be a new list of items. That's all we have to do for this script. Now we're going towards here and right click create a new C sharp script and call it inventory. Now open the script up and for this we need a few more things so we're not going to use all the things already in this tutorial but we are already going to put it here in front of the script the very first thing is using system.collections.generic because also here we are going to use list the second thing is using unity engine.ue because again we're going to use ue uh, system for the whole inventory system and using unity engine dot event systems because we are going to add for example to a button um, a different event and for that we need this and we need to see what uh, which button button is pressed for things like that we just use this statement um, we are going to create also here a class and we are going to create name it item inventory and again we want to change it so just put this in front of it and then public class uh, item inventory and it, within this class we have a public int id a public game object item game object this is by the way not a prefab for the object you got within your prefabs folder that if you want to add that you need to add it within this class but this is the ue element we are going to use to show the image uh, to make it possible and so on then we also got a public float health and a public int count and I think those two things are easy to understand um, this one is by the way just to show how you can transform um, a variable just everywhere where you need to be um, but we're not going to actually use a damage system or whatever that's a whole different subject. We are going to create for today two new variables. First, we're going to start with a public list item inventory called items. And that's going to be a new list of the items. So this is just the list of all the different slots we are going to have within our inventory. And that's not the only thing we're going to have. We also need um, a public game object game object oops game 
PX show. So this is the actual UE prefab. We can also call it UE prefab. I just uh, like it this way. Then also what we're going to have is a public game object. Um, inventory main object. And this is the object where we will um, have as the parent for all the game objects and so on. So that are the three things. And for today, we're only going to create that all the graphics will be added in the inventory system. Even though it will not work for now, by the way, um, because we didn't add anything within the scene, we are going to script it uh, just for now. So we're going to have a public void, add graphics. And within there, we are having a for loop. And within the for loop, we are going to have an int i. And it will start with zero. And this is just to count down every um, item within the list. i. And we're going to create here a new variable for public int max counts. So these are the maximum of uh, slots you can have, max count, and every time you will add one. Um, so we start with creating a new object. So game object, new item is going to be instantiate. So we're going to create a new game object as game object, so we can later on with capitals, so we can later on change some variables of it. And that's going to be game object show, and the parent is going to be inventory main object dot transform. So those two, uh, this line will just instantiate the object and make the parent of this object. But now we need to um, do a few things. At first, we are going to say that the new item dot name is going to be i. And this is going to be for later on when um, to string, by the way, because this is an int and we need a string because otherwise you can change the name. But we need this for another system where when you press a button, it will just see what is the name. Oh, then is it that number of the items list and that item we are currently talking about and using. Um, we're going to call create a new item inventory and we are going to uh, just put it like this, oops, new item inventory. And this is so we don't have to do it for this list by ourselves. We can just do this system work, um, whatever it needs to do, because we're just too lazy to do it by hand. Um, the item inventory dot game object is going to be a new item. Uh, I've got capital, I'm very sorry. And now we need to do, well, a few hard things. So a UE element got a rec transform. This is not at the right position when we are going to instantiate it. So that were, is what we're going to do now. So rect transform RT is from the new item, the uh, cat component. So we are just getting the rect transform and we're just going to put it right here. And now we are going to, first we're going to set a local position, local position towards a new vector tree of zero, zero, zero. The actual thing it will do is just only put this one to zero, the Z axis. So that's the depth, because the other two are going to be managed with an other script that is already within um, this whole system in Unity itself where we will just group it. So that's so we don't have to do it by yourself. Um, the local scale can sometimes change and you don't want that. So, because otherwise it will get some weird issues. Uh, so we are also going to set that to a new factor three. I'm just going to say that every scale, actually X, X, S is going to be one. Then um, we are also going to say that from the new item and then cat component in children, we only have one and that's the, uh, that's a text object that will show how many you have of the object. So rec transform 
um, from that we will just say that the local scale is again a new factor 3 dot 111 because otherwise you will also get here weird issues so this is actually just to fix that when we instantiate anything we will just need sure that all the variables are exactly like you want them to be um, and now we're going to change a little bit on the button um, so we are going to have a temporary button and that's the new item dot cat component button so this is just the uh, the button that can be uh, that you can have on the UE element. That's all we are going to access right now. And we are going to put here, but we cannot do it right now. Say that it will add an event or listener um, and put it that it will call the function select object. And that is something we're going to create another time. And after that, we are going to create that the within the items. So we got a list of all the items, we're just going to add the inventory item. So that's all, uh, nothing more, nothing less. That's all we're going to do for today, and I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or subscribe, that will really be appreciated. And I'll see you guys next week with the next part of this tutorial series. Bye!